Okay, so this is part three of the Node MCU Cube LED controller setup how to. In this part, we now have a completely built LED controller which is programmed with our Arduino code. All that is left to do is to connect it to our OpenHub instance. For this demo, I will use a specific case that I use in my own setup, which is the kitchen cabinet lighting. So I have named the sensor FF Kitchen Cabinet 1. I have created the mosquito topics for the individual sensor status and set topic and I have created the group topic for these LED strips. So from this point on I will be using these mosquito topics to talk about the OpenHub configuration. For configuring OpenHub I use Visual Studio Code and the first thing we need to do is configure the items for this LED strip. I have an individual LED strip string item which I use for transmitting JSON packets between the LED strip and the OpenHab controller. This is how I configured the mosquito topic for the individual string. I am using the individual set topic in this case. The next item is a simple power switch for the LED strip. Again, I use the set topic for that. However, you will notice that I also use a map transformation file. So let's jump to the map transformation file real quick. In this file, I have a mapping defined for each of the different effects and the on and off strings. Each of these strings is exactly what's going to be transmitted to the mosquito topic when a new effect or the power switch is selected. This map file goes into the transform directory under your OpenHAP configuration. The next number item is the effects selector. Again, I use the set topic and I'm using the map to send the different effect strings depending on which one is selected. Next is the color item where the current solid color selected for the LED strip is stored. This color is used in some effects to provide a hue to that specific effect, but mostly it is utilized when you select a single solid color for the entire LED strip. The fifth item is the speed of the effect, and the last number item is the intensity of the LED strip. This is how you control the power output of the LED strip and normally I have mine set to about 50%. So this is a group of items that corresponds to a single LED strip. I have one of these groups for each of my LED strips. And finally I have the same set of items for the group. The only difference being I use the group mosquito set topic. After defining the items, we can now use them in the sitemap file. So I use the different items that we defined with different sitemap entries. Switch for power, selection dropdown for the different effects, a color picker for the hue, and two different setpoint entries for the speed and intensity, with their defined minimum, maximum, and step values. These are the values that I've selected for my strips because I like the level of control they give me. And just like I have the sitemap entries defined for a group, I also have individual LED strip control defined as well if I wanted to set each of my LED strips to a different color or effect. One thing worth pointing out is the mappings entry for the effects selector. I simply assign a numeric value to each of the effects being sent. That numeric value corresponds to the transformation map I described earlier and selects the proper JSON strings to send to the LED strip. Once we have the sitemap items defined, the last thing left to do is define rules for the items that need processing before being sent that is the color, speed, and intensity items. These rules are very simple. When the item receives an update, the rule builds the correct JSON string to send to the mosquito topic. And I will say that there are better ways to do this if you have multiple LED strips. There is a design pattern to use a single set of rules with multiple items, but I have not had the time to implement that yet. So that is pretty much it as far as OpenHop setup goes. I will post the sample items, sitemap entries, and rules on the OpenHab community forum and link to that post in the video description below. Okay, now that we have the OpenHab configuration done, I can show you how these strips work in real life. So in this shot, you see kitchen cabinet strip number one on the left side and kitchen cabinet number two on the right side. Because they're grouped, I can control both of them together. changing colors or changing effects. If I wanted to, I could also set each one individually.
Finally, I will just show you how these strips are installed. I am using aluminum channel with diffusers for a clean install and to disperse the LED light. The channels are glued to the cabinets using modeling glue. I will post links to all components in the description below. Please post any questions in the comments below. I hope you found this series on the Node MCU LED controller useful. If you do like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you.